you um, how to create curly cues without having much of a problem. When I'm teaching, my students seem to have a real issue with this, and when I say we're doing curly cues, they look like deers in headlights. So what you need is a good quality script liner. This one is very old, as you can see the paint's coming off of it. You want long bristles. What you're going to do is if you're using Americana paint, I'm going to bring my water here so you can see. If you're using Americana paint, you're going to go at least two times and pull from the edge of the puddle of paint. So that's one time and now two times. If you're using faux part paint, you need to go in at least three times because faux part paint is a much, much, much thicker paint. Now if you notice, I am not taking my brush and turning it. If I turn it, what it does is it takes the bristles and, and twists them into a point. And yes, we want a point, but if you twist it that way, it makes it more difficult for the paint to release. So what I've done is I've got my paint on my brush, as you can see, and I'm going to come onto my piece of paper here. You are going to stand straight up on the point of the script liner. And I just sort of start and bring my brush down and create my circles. Now you'll notice right there that it became very heavy and I'll tell you why. If yours start off on the, on the tip and then go flat, notice the, the style, the shape of my bristles. I have flattened them out. You have to stay right up on top of the point at all times. Some people find it more beneficial to put their finger down, their baby finger down, and go that way. I don't because I just find it gets in my way. So whatever is most comfortable for you. So like I said, straight up, not leaning the brush. It's straight up and down. Start in a circular motion and now lower your, your, your brush and you will get perfect curly cues all the time. Remember, this is not the look that we're looking for. The look that we want is straight up. So if all of a sudden you come off the paper, like I did here, and there's a space, you don't want to come back and try to fill that in because if you do, you can see that it looks like you did. This is Sue Gate signing off, and thanks for watching.